This video shows how to take your Excel recipe and make it scalable. So you can multiply it by 2, by 5, by 10, whatever. Up here in the top left hand corner you'll see that I have a cell called scale and right next to it um, I have a cell with a number 1 in it. Uh, if you're using my recipe templates this is already in there. If not just add it somewhere to your sheet. Now if I come over to my quantities and go up to the menu bar, I've selected the first one here, number 4, and up in the recipe or in the uh, formula bar in Excel it just shows the value 4. I need to convert that into a formula. So to do that I start by hitting the equals key, typing 4 because that's the value that was in there, times the uh, cell that you want to use for scaling. You can see that it's highlighted here. And then hit enter. So now if I go back to that same cell with a 4 in it and look at the formula bar, you'll see that it says equals 4 times the cell at address B4. The cell at address B4 is highlighted in blue here and it's our cell that we chose. So now I want to continue doing that to the rest of the um, recipe, typing in the exact same values but turning them into formulas. So uh, the next one is half cut. You'll put equals 0.5 times your scale cell, hit enter, then equals 2 times your scale cell, enter, equals 1 times your scale cell, hit enter equals 0.5 times your scale cell. I'm using the mouse to select the scale cell here and the keyboard to type everything else. Um, and you just continue to do that until you've converted your entire recipe. Um, and now I've got everything in there. So now, if I uh, come up to my scale cell and say I put in a 2, the entire recipe is converted to a 2 times batch. If I put in a 10, it's a 10 times batch. If I put in 0.5, it's a half batch. And that's the end of the story.